hello, hello, hello. Um, this is Brother West coming to you um, this um, Saturday, this Saturday morning, and um, uh, there's a there's something that I wanted to, um, I guess, uh, explain to you, teach you, get you to see um, uh, the form of 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 this particular thing, and it's it is uh, the thing called anger. Anger. The scripture says to be angry, but sin not. Don't let the sun go down on your app. Don't let the sun go down on your wrath. The thing about anger now, most people think anger is um, anger is um, an emotion. Most people think that, right? You know, you get angry, I'm emotional. I'm angry. No. Anger is not an emotion. Anger is not an emotion at all. But actually, anger is created. Did you not know that when a person becomes ang angry, when they eventually uh, express themselves in a form of anger, when they release themselves, uh, frustration is like a outburst, like uh, a verbal outburst. Anger is, anger comes from something. Anger comes from something. Anger is created. And what happens, anger is created from something, a, a something that's been unresolved in your life. Anger is formed from something that's been unresolved or something that you had to work through. Maybe some relationship, maybe something mentally or maybe something physically or maybe something that happened where uh, you were able to uh, get the understanding on why certain things happen or why guys act a certain way or look or talk to you a certain way or, 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 or whatever it is. But whatever it is, it's unanswered questions, unanswered questions that form anger. And in those unanswered questions, uh, it forms anger, it forms frustration. It's like it's like building a house. Anger is like building a house because anger in itself is not an emotion, but anger is energy. It's energy, energy, energy. And where do you get energy? You get energy from friction. You get energy from friction, but also in energy, if you notice, uh, with energy, the, the more uh, with energy, the more uh, uh, something hot becomes more warm when there's energy. Like, say, for example, uh, if um, uh, energy anger is like, say, for example, if I turn my shower on in my bathroom but close the door, but then when I come back and open up the door, then all the the the, the stuff from the shower, all the the stuff that's formed from the shower, uh, comes out in the fall. You know the the miss the do or whatever it is, you know that comes from the shower, you know. Um, and so anger is like that. Anger is like that. It's it's like those particles. It's like the the miss. It's it's like that that comes from something. And and oftentimes it may be bitterness. It might be hurt. Might be molested, uh, or people taking advantage of you and uh, whatever whatever it is. It form it built it builds a certain house. It's like building blocks. When you're angry, it's like building blocks. And getting tall and taller, tall and taller. And so anger is created. And even the scripture says that a man treasure, uh, a man heart is where his treasure is at. And anger is formed from something that's connected to your heart. Oh, yes, anger is created. And it's formed from something that was connected to your heart. Because if it wasn't connected to your heart, why would you be angry? Because anger, anger, anger comes from being frustrated, being upset. It's like when stuff, when stuff breaks. Anger is like when something breaks, when, when something has been holding, been trying to hold it. It's almost like uh, uh, you, you take a, like a, a, a bottle of Coca-Cola and you shake it up. And inside that, inside that bottle is the anger. Inside that bottle is the anger. But but the, the bar itself is the hurt. The bar itself is the pain and all that. All, all the stuff, the house, the house of it. But once you open that top up, that uh, the asset and everything in that thing is going to begin to come out. And that's how anger is. Anger. And it's, it's accumulated. Anger is, doesn't just happen overnight. It doesn't happen overnight. It's created. Anger also can be a learned behavior, something that's passed on, a spiritual, can be a spirit that's passed on a mindset of frustration. 
It's almost like having diabetes and that same that same spirit, that same mindset, that same disease is passed on. And in each generation, it comes to each generation, they embrace it. And saying, well, my mom had this, my dad had that. And so it's just a matter of time that I'm gonna get it. And so that that's the mindset. It's passed on, it's transferred. Anger can be transferred, you know, from like a generational curse, from a generational frustration, generation of of of, of, of pain. A generation, but also, also in anger. Think about anger too. Why? How the Bible says that life and death is in the power of tongue. I was listening to this one young lady that had, I guess, defected from North Korea, and she was saying that that with the tongue, if by you saying one wrong, wrong word or going out, going out the mouth in any kind of way from you from that one act can can cause a generation to be punished not just that person but that person's family after that that next generation that next generation that that generation. and so anger can, anger can be just like that anger anger can be infectious just like that see the, the the more you hold on to it the more you hold on to it the more uh you infect other people the more it's, it's like a seed and, and when you're an angry person and you're full of anger, you have to be careful because that same kind of attitude or that same type of frustration, that same type of disappointment, you will begin to plant those same type of seeds in your, your kids. Those same kind of key, uh, seeds uh, in, the, in the people that you raise. You have to be careful when you're raising your kids, not to raise your kids uh, in a spirit of anger, in a spirit of frustration. See, because what you're doing, uh, when you do that, you, you're putting that seed in them. And it's, that's not that's their fault. Over something that might have happened to you. You might have, something might have, you, you, something, you, you might have had a situation where, where it was unfair. And it wasn't right. And it made you angry. And it made you frustrated. But you can't be selfish. You cannot pass that frustration on to, to your child. To people around you. You need to deal with that thing. You need to deal with that anger because if not, it's going to be a domino effect because not only you are you are infected, you're infectious, which means that you're going to affect everyone around you. The scripture says to follow peace with all men and holiness without which shall no man see the Lord uh, less, unless a root of bitterness springing up in you whereby many be defiled. And so anger can be infectious. Also like jealousy. The scripture even, even talks about jealousy. How the scripture says that jealousy is cruelty as the grave. And so everything that the grave does when a person dies, the same thing, the same thing that, that jealousy does. When a person dies, there's a stage in those processes. And one of the last processes with rigor mortem, after a certain period of time, there's a decay. There's a smell, all of that, and 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 that has to be buried deep because if not, it will you will smell it. It will infect you. Uh, you will become sick. You won't be able to handle the atmosphere. The same thing about anger. The same thing about jealousy. The same thing about bitterness. If you're not careful, if you're not careful, if you don't deal with it, if you don't deal with that smell because it has a smell, it has a smell. If you don't deal with that smell, if you don't deal with that smell. You're going to become infectious. Not only infectious, but you're going to infect others. If you don't deal with that smell, what's going to happen? It's going to run things away from you. Wherein things would come to you, but by you holding on to it, it's going to cause things that wanted to come to you to run away from you because it cannot get past the smell. The smell, the smell of anger, the, the aroma of anger, the attitude of anger. And, and, and so those are my words this morning. And that is anger is created. Anger doesn't just exist. Oh, and, and another thing, anger is not an emotion. Anger is energy. Anger is energy. Just think about it. When you turn your lights on, that's energy that turns your lights on. And, and the longer those lights are on, what's going to happen, that light bulb is going to become hot. Did you know that energy? Energy brings heat. Energy brings heat. And when you're angry, when you're upset, you get hot. You get upset. 
because you, 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 you infuse energy, anger. But the scripture says, don't let the sun go down. And so in other words, don't, don't swell up. Don't get too hot. Don't, don't get so hot that you become sweating, sweating angry. Where, where then when the scripture said, don't let the sun go down on your raft, when the sun has went down on your raft, you already done built your house. You already done created it. You already done created what you want to do. You already done created what you want to say. Even, even the scripture says that even when it comes to lust and adultery, it's the scripture says that when a man looks upon a woman, as a, looks upon a woman, he's already co committed adultery in his heart. When you look upon a certain way, when, when you linger and you and you look and you fantasize, fantasize and your imagination and see what it is, your imagination will cause, will build, it will create. See, the imagination, uh, when you're thinking, the imagination is like the, the brick, it's like the mortar, it's like the water, it's like the stuff that, that makes the bricks hard. It's like the things that cause, the form the brick, that once the brick is formed, it's able to, to put up layers. That's what it's like. And so, those are my words. God bless you and good morning.